Thomas's. Now, Brianna Jones of Connecticut, she got her first WNBA start in the well, Both coaches are void of a huge superstar, right? For Connecticut, it's John Quell Jones who opted out. A lot of their ball screen action, of course, looks like they gave that one away. Did a good job defensively in the first half, but then they ran out of gas. Credit to Minnesota. That is going to be a dandy. We were on uh, a Zoom call today with Sue Blau, who's in charge of officiating for the WNBA. It looks like it's going to be a defensive struggle. Powers out front, guarding Bonner. And they pick the pocket. Here comes Mitchell running the court very well. Got it on the last year of just seeing the court better when she's pushing the basketball. She wants to get the ball to the right hand. Pocket is picked. This is vintage. You, this is vintage Connecticut right here. There's a couple of steals they've been able to get in the open floor, and then you're not going to catch. There's really good team speed for Connecticut. They might be undersized in certain positions, but they've got speed. Lee's uh, sitting on that floor, opens up the three, doesn't get it. Nice pass inside. Powers can't finish. Steal. The quote, Antonelli broadcasting live from South Carolina. I'm Ron Thule coming your way from Texas. Remarkable what they've done with the communication. The they get the switch. Leilani Mitchell ends up on Bonner. And this is exactly what DeWanna Bonner should do when she has... Lead is one for Washington. Even though pound for pound, Leilani Mitchell may weigh about this table now. <laughs> Jada Lewis has checked into the ball game for Connecticut. Try to go a little back door. Teague in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Well, Connecticut has nine. They're playing with nine tonight, and Washington is playing with ten. Hopkins was scheduled for an MRI. We're not sure how that came out. And, of course, they're without Elena Deladon on Washington's side. Good score in the history of Maryland basketball. Little Washington, the lead by seven. Jasmine yeah. Thomas hands it off. Alyssa Thomas inside. That's you can what make, you were talking about. When you can make plays in the middle third of the floor, Ron, it's really hard to bring help. And so that little dribble handoff there gets Thomas a chance to have Elena Coates. On. Oh, the drive whistle. And nice job of attacking. She gets a step on Bria Holmes. Gets a little bump down low. And right. good, good job covering up by Heidemann. Jasmine Thomas waits for the troops to come down, takes it herself. Bonner pushes it. Beautiful pass inside. 2017 right. winner South Carolina team won the NCAA title for Dawn Staley. Played a lot of three point banks in the history of the NCAA behind Kelsey Mitchell, who plays for Indiana. Yeah. That's career 52% of the shots are free. Those things are, are really important. Time, time, score, and fouls. Exactly. Heidman over the timeline, little hesitation. Rifle in the pass. Beautiful. Here in Washington, the average margin was 19.5. Bonner works on an east middle of the heart. Kirk Miller's done a great job of moving her around. Right here, she gets the step on Miesemann. All you need is two. Atkins will trigger it into Miesemann, who hands it right back. Atkins for three. Using their length. Remember, Washington's a team that pretty much by design defends inside out, so they like to go under. With Minnesota and Seattle. Got the way at 10 o'clock east from time. Messi had 19 in game one. Power steps back, plays the feet. Good. And Washington, though, has regained the advantage by two. Thomas has been quiet since early in the ball game. Goes to the right, directing traffic. They spread things out. Ariel Atkins from deep in the corner. smart fans out there that are paying attention. I love it. We're going to keep doing this trivia. I, I love trivia on the history of the league. And Beastman pushed out off that left block. They've been doing a good job keeping her off that in a turnover. Here comes Bonner. 
as Thomas beautiful passes. Final seven seconds. Carson, no, Carlos, they will be okay. If one thing Connecticut has done in that first half is get to the charity strike. Oh, oh, oh. Make as many baskets with her right hand as she makes with her left. Yeah, I think you're right. Zero power three groups off the back of these out with it. And that's exactly the way Bonner started the game with a, a deep three that was a miss. Shot clock at seven. She almost doesn't like to shoot that 15 footer very often. Right. Good so defense. They I watched play it. off her. That's right through the pass. Maisha Hines Allen coming over to, to pick her up. These with beautiful passes. Just really unselfish play. Good distribution of the basketball. Nice basket. These are up. Comes up with it to Mitchell. Look at Powers running the floor. Baseline pull up. Got it. Washington was on an 11 to 4 run. Here's Powers again. Kicks it back yeah. on top, but he didn't pull the trigger. Good ball through the Powers, way down points of the ball game to go along with eight rebounds. Beesman ball gets away, easy. Inside to Beesman, so she can go to work. Listen, Thomas has to give it deep in the corner, shot won't go off this. Shot clock at seven, plenty of time. Christina Lewis gives up two on one end, let's see if she can hit, hit a corner three here. That's where she does so much damage. It's hard to keep her in front, but she's so good with her footwork. And Ariel Atkins using their athleticism and their skill set to beat the perimeter in the quarter court of Connecticut. Makes good choices while she's out there. Heidemann. Like, like that. Tonight because Beesman has got the seven assists. Oh, Heinz Allen, what a boost! Watch this play right here. She's just going to cross up Alyssa Thomas and make a great finish at the rim. No one wants to step in front of that. Washington starting to tighten up their defense. Atkins got some help, needed it. Bottom for three. That's her seventh rebound to go with her 22 points. On the drive. Five-point advantage. Potter shows the screen. Let's see how fatigue plays a factor because Kurt Miller said his team got tired in the fourth against Minnesota. Yeah, but here's the thing, Ron. What Kurt Miller, you know, I would believe Kalana Mosquito Lewis would make eight out of ten of those in the corner. They just got to want a Potter. She goes away. He dives to the basket. I'll tell you what, as a fan, Ron, I am telling you right now, I am missing some Elena Dillon. Ariel Powers now with 23 in the ballgame. She's three of four beyond the arc, and the lead goes to Washington did not play well in the second quarter. Exploded in the third. Nice pass. Uh, pushing, spreading the floor. This is just two-man game. You stay on the lane line. Pulls it down and pushes. Powers with a steal. Up ahead. Hines Allen. Quarter number three. Hines Allen lost the handle into the hands of Bonner. Plenty of time left in this game. Really good scramble by Alyssa Thomas who now comes down. It's just a good job to poke it free by Jasmine Thomas from behind and get it ahead in a crowd. Natisha Heidemann playing with a little bit of foul trouble, getting a lot of extra time tonight. Bonner faced 11 point advantage. Powers has a rejected. Jackie Jamelos played her collegiate ball at USC. Third round pick back in 2012. Heidemann Thomas deep in the court. Chicago that year. Atkins, no place to go. 
Beastman with three to shoot. Powers has the last year. Offensive rebound. They'll set it back up again. Inside of three, deep in the... Somebody's got to watch her. Ottoman on the drive to go with the left. I would try to get AT right here with the ball, number 25, Alyssa Thomas at the elbow or on the drive. 5.4 seconds. Now you're Washington. You're in the catbird seat. Final one second. Mullis again for three. Won't get it. Connecticut led at halftime, 52-48 for the second game in a row. Connecticut leads at halftime. Comes up on the short end.